Hey guys, this is Bluey back here with another video. So today is going to be another Blu-ray hunting video. Now um, I haven't done one of these for a while. In fact, I haven't one done one of these in a few in like a lot in like a month. So yeah, we're going to go out to HMV, CX, and Poundland, see what's new. Um, I'll show you the new releases from today. Um, honestly though, at the moment since I have no money, leading up to Christmas, you know, buying all the presents for my family, um, my friends. Um, I don't have much money, so I'm probably not going to buy anything today, and if I do, it will probably be quite a small purchase. Um, but obviously, after Christmas, um, hoping that I maybe get a bit of Christmas money, I am going to go out to HMV CX Pound again and hopefully buy some stuff. Um, so yeah, guys, leave a like, also subscribe, guys. I'll probably go to HMV first and CX and Poundland, depending on what I feel like. So guys, I'll see you at the shops, and I'll come back and show you if I picked anything up. So in the new release section, in the Blu-ray section, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was the biggest release in the past few weeks. So there's the regular Blu-ray. Do have a new Criterion here. Anna, I know is a new one. Good Boys is also a new release. Um, I was actually going to watch that one. I'm probably going to buy the Blu-ray when it goes down. Star Trek Discovery Season 2, we need to get into that. Good Omens, I believe that's an Amazon, um, an Amazon show. Really heard good things about that one. Watchmen, Blu-ray. Um, Seven Worlds, One Planet, a new BBC documentary. Yesterday, Angel Has Fallen, really fun movie. Did actually get to see this one in the cinema. And then we've also got the trilogy for £20. So only actually five stars, five pounds extra. Um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood 4K as well. Lovely slipcover on that one. And we do actually have Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw was also a new one. Did get to see this one in cinemas. Pretty decent film, like a two slash three star film. Um, then we also do actually have the 4K Steelbook for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, honestly, don't really love that Steelbook, but I guess some people do. I believe Blinded by the Light was, was also a new release. I really love this one in cinema. It's definitely one of the best feel-good movies of this year. So I've not actually got any Arrow video titles, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be my first one. This Robocop box set. It's absolutely beautiful. I've not actually watched the film, which is a huge crime. I really, really want to watch it. Um, we've also got the HMV Premium Collection, still in that 2 for 15 deal, which is a great price. 88 films, we have loads of them. And a few criterions I do want to still pick up is the Days of Confused one and Do the Right Thing. Um, definitely when these ones go down in price in HMV or if they're discounted on Zabby, I'm definitely going to pick those, one up, those ones up because they're such great films. Loads of other criterions though, they're not on discount, but it's still some beautiful titles. Um, and we've got some 101 film titles like Prom Night. Now I am in love with this It's a Wonderful Life slip cover. Absolutely beautiful. 1099 is kind of dear, but I do also know this one got a 4K release um, with a, like, a lovely shiny slip cover as well, but I guess I don't have enough money for those at the moment. In Bruges, one of my favorite comedies of all time. Um, lovely box set, Green Book, one of my favorite films of this year so far. Um, Hot Fuzz, John Wick Chapter 3. Long Shot's also a film I do want to check out since I've actually heard decent things about it. In CEX now, I'm just looking around. Um, they do have Dunkirk, like the Digi book for six pounds, which is really reasonable. They've also got the regular Blu-ray of that one. A really good film, definitely worth six pounds. Cobra Suit 4K. Um, I've heard mixed things about that one, but I do like a good new release, new action film. Hobbs and Shaw. They do have actually have a Hobbs and Shaw steel book as well. They've actually got two of these, twenty-five pounds, so a five-pound discount. I guess they are opened, but. Nice steel books, but for me, not a great film. Just a decent, okay, Fast and Furious film, just like the others. Um, we also do have some other titles here. Loads of titles, quite a few Christmas films. We we'll also we'll have this Grand Prix blu ray On the other side of the shelf, they do seem to have a bit more. They've got Waterworld, Arrow Video. Not watched that film, but honestly, I've not heard amazing things about it. Star Trek Beyond, seems to be his exclusive slipcover. I already have that one, but it's a beautiful slipcover, so shiny. Really good film. Discovery, season two, it kind of folds out, but it doesn't seem to do it. Far From Home, Blu-ray 3D, £12, that's very reasonable. They must have the full That one, really good film. Um, Psycho, the Alfred Hitchcock film, not actually watched this one. So in the other section at CEX, we do have Annabelle Comes Home. I believe this was one was a new release into like the Conjuring universe, but honestly not into those Conjuring films, but I, the new one does look quite cool. Um, we do have another Arrow video title, Batman vs Superman 4K, the Dark Knight trilogy 4K. This is definitely something I want to get since it is my favorite trilogy of all time. Just very expensive, it's 35 pounds. Um, we also do have, we have the Equalizer, the Exorcist. Um, we do have War. Don't know what that one is. It looks decent though. Like Grim. A few things of that. Um, you were never really heard of Joaquin Phoenix. It does look really interesting. This film, but it's on Netflix. So I'll probably check it out on there before I buy the Blu-ray. 
So in Poundland now, and honestly, all the titles are exactly the same, like 22 Jump Street, The Heat, these are all things that I've seen before, and I don't think they have any new titles in, honestly. Um, Kickbox, uh, Super 8, maybe a new one, but that's honestly the only thing that is out of the ordinary. Do you have a box up there? I'll show you anything if there's any, anything in that box, but yeah, I'll see you when I get home. So guys, we are back from the shops. I did actually get one pickup from CX. Um, HMV, um, although we did have a lot of stuff, there wasn't really anything that was in my that I wanted that was in my price range, and Poundland really didn't have anything since, since I last went in there. But my one pickup from CX is something that I'm actually really happy I picked up, since it's a classic film um, that I've not watched, and it's been a film that's been on my mind to watch it. Um, it's got Steve McQueen, who is in Bullet, which is a really great film that I've watched. And the film I picked up was The Great Escape Steelbook for £12 from CX. Now, I know I'm a movie fan. I've not watched The Great Escape. What am I doing? This is on my to watch list now. I'm going to really try and watch this before the end of my Christmas holidays. But yeah, I'm going to give you a little Steelbook sort of overview. So there is the front of it. They're really nice. Really nice. There's the back. The front actually does have some like sort of like gloss on the mode on Steve McQueen. The, this title, Steve McQueen. And the motorbike has got, it's got some nice, a nice finish and the Great Escape logo is like kind of like glossy. And as you can see, the motorbike's got a really nice tint to it. Then here's the back. Really nice. And there's the spine. Absolutely lovely. The Great Escape. It's got a nice green colour to it as well. Same as the title on the front. And inside, we do have just the regular disc artwork, nothing special, of Steve Queen on his motorbike. Um, and then inside, I guess that is a scene from the film. Again, I've not watched the film. But yeah, got really do have some nice, nice inside artwork there. Um, but I really do like the simple, like simple sort of black and white of the steelbook with that green Great Escape logo. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, and honestly, it's got a few chips on it, chips, you know, around. But really, overall, the steelbook's in really good, really good condition. And it did actually come with a J card as well, which is in mint condition. Um, I usually don't keep J cards, um, but yeah, that's absolutely lovely. A really nice finish on the steelbook. I'm going to sleeve it up right now. This is going straight into my collection. And I, again, I'm going to try and wash this one before the end of Christmas. But yeah, so happy with this one um, because it's been a movie that's been on my mind to watch for a long time. I'm finally going to get the chance to watch it because um, I just haven't got around to watching it. In all fairness, I haven't really watched many Old films um, is something that I I guess I need to get into more. But uh, there are so many like old westerns, old films that I just haven't watched. But yeah, there he is, sleeved up in one of my Steelbook Central sleeves. Absolutely love these things. I'm going to go straight into the collection and definitely going to watch this one soon. So there, yeah, that's my one pick up for today. Great Escape Blu-ray Steelbook. Hope you guys enjoyed this little short Blu-ray hunting video. I am sorry it's short rather than long. It's just... Um, you know, Christmas, I've got a lot on, but I'm going to try and get a, since I'm going to see Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker today with my family, I'm going to get a review for that up by tomorrow or even tonight when I get back from it, since I'll probably maybe just give my out of the cinema thoughts on it, but I'm absolutely pumped out of my mind for that one. Um, I am a huge Star Wars fan, so yeah, that's going to be tonight, cannot wait for The Rise of Skywalker. So yeah, that's tonight and tomorrow, I'm probably, um, I don't know what I'm going to, I think I may do my movie room tour video tomorrow or after Christmas. So yeah, that's my plan. I'm also going to do a Christmas present video as well. So guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like or subscribe, guys. And one more thing is that YouTube is really messing up my videos at the moment. Because I am below the age of 18, basically a lot of people aren't getting to see my videos. Um, so yeah, um, you may actually not have seen some of my videos, but, but my recent videos have been a Knives Out Cinema Trip and a Tenet trailer reaction. But just leave in the comments down below if those did pop up for you or if they didn't because I kind of need to know because I need to contact YouTube about it. It's really getting on my nerves because I've been talking to some people on Instagram. Instagram is watch one underscore movies. Um, and they're saying they've not seen my Knives Out video or they've not seen my Tenet trailer reaction. So yeah, leave that in the comments down below. So guys, that's going to wrap up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like or subscribe, guys. Um, and yeah, just hope you guys all have a great Christmas, um, you know, I hope you enjoy being with friends, family, and maybe spare a thought for those people who aren't as lucky as us, um, since I know they're like, be living in London, you see people on the street every day, and it is, is, it is heartbreaking knowing that people are going to be alone at Christmas, so definitely spare a thought for them, spare a prayer for them, guys. So thanks for watching, guys, um, again, make sure to follow my Instagram, watchorns underscore movies, I'll leave it in the description, um, I did change the title of my Instagram. 
So guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it as usual. And I'll see you in the next video.